Back, back with another episode of DJZ Love 2 Podcast. I go by the name DJ Monet. I'm DJ Badio, and we have another beautiful episode. But before we get started, we need you guys to subscribe, like, comment, share. You know how that go, right? Monet, what we got today? Moving on up. We have up. two special guests in the building today. We got DJ Big Two. We got DJ Little Two. What up, in what the up? building. What up, what up? Yeah, hey, so we're going to start it off just like this. Where Everybody wants to know where you guys from. We from Memphis, man. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Memphis, Memphis. What part of Memphis? You know, let's, no. let's get into it. On the north. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? No. So, how did two girls from Memphis move to Atlanta? How did you? How did you get Ooh, like started in DJ? Go ahead and tell the story. You yeah, got tell. This is why we here. This is why we here. I tell the story the best. Look, it was this one really. With the she wanted to start DJ and I'm like, look, I ain't got time for your little phase, like okay. your little phase. I yeah. thought it was a phase because I always was coming up with stuff to do or whatever. But this one, this I really, really wanted to do this. So she stuck at it for like five months. We need to DJ. We'll be lit. So you guys are doing something different together before DJing? Well, we was in college, so we was majoring in paralegal studies. Okay, so we wanted to be attorneys. Okay, okay. and so we was playing tennis too. Twin but, attorneys. Um, that would have been crazy too. Yeah. Okay. So. She was like, yeah, we need, to, we need to do it. And I was like, all right, if you find us a mentor, I'll do it. Because I ain't trying to race, like, my oh, right. refund yeah, yeah, on yeah. DJ equipment. And it don't be, right, right. you know, what, it, what it's going to be. So she found us a mentor, DJ um, Big Sue off of K97. Yeah, Memphis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So she, um, she guided us. She gave us, like, a really, like, a blueprint mm-hmm. of what we needed. Like, y'all need this equipment. Oh, man, that's love right mm-hmm. there. And we came up to it. was like, yeah, we brought her a little board. We like, because I think we had did research, like, of equipment and okay. whatever. Mm-hmm. But and we was like, yeah, we want to use this board. And she was like, mm-mm. She well, was one of the small boards? Yeah, it was one of them little, we call them Plan Bs. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> Little Plan B's. Exactly. Your, yeah. your Plan B jump. But yeah. she was like, nah, y'all need techniques. Y'all need DJ M400. Y'all need Scratch Live. Wow. She, because oh, if y'all want to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was like, that's cute. Like, y'all cute with that. She yeah. was like, but if y'all want to do it, yeah. mm-hmm, then y'all need to, you know, really invest in it. So that's what we rocked on. We get the equipment. Then she Shit, was, it took a year. Right. Get the equipment. Right. This, is, this is what they want to know. Yep. yep. Yeah. Right. So we get the equipment. This We talking, this like 2014 when all this started. Okay. Mm-hmm. But um, get the equipment. And she like, was, yeah, can you teach us? We got the equipment now. Like, we ready. We like, yeah, you can teach <laughs> yeah. us. She was like, mm-mm. I'm like, huh? Was she from Memphis also? Yeah, she from Memphis okay. too. And um, she was like, nah, I can't teach y'all. And I'm like, why? Ooh, I was so mad. Man. She, she really like, said that? Yeah, yeah, she was like, nah, I can't teach y'all. I was like, why? But it was a good reason why. She was like, I can't teach you know y'all how to train y'all ears to hear music. I can't teach y'all how to yeah. read a crowd. Right, right. Like, I can't, te- I can't okay. teach y'all. Y'all got to want to do that, right, right. like for real, for real. I get that logic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we get on YouTube University. Mm-hmm. And she yeah, gave us a book too. She gave us a book, How to DJ Write. So we skimmed through it. Yeah, it's nice. And, um, so I ain't finna read this. So I'm finna get on YouTube. <laughs> so we get on YouTube, look up, look up how to set up stuff. And then we just started going out. Yeah. We had a bunch of homeboys that DJ. And we just following up behind them, like looking at them, how they talk on the mic. DJ J. Brown. Yeah, um, J. Brown, DJ, DJ. Yeah. We're going to save that yeah, for the yeah, yeah. DJ Flowers. We're so, you know, that. besides the fact that you guys are twin DJs, what else makes you guys unique? I think that's a, that's a, that's a poll question. It's one of the poll questions, right? What makes you guys unique? I feel like just being from Memphis, Lord Shout Jesus. Shout out to Memphis, like, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. on the map right Memphis now. Memphis is it's a lot going on Memphis in Memphis. Memphis got the game. Yeah. Yeah. So cold. Yeah, yeah. Shout Show out to Memphis, cold. you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, just being from Memphis and, like, girls, see, people expect girl DJs to be... Hearts, thank Cute. you, Cute. thank you. Let's like, now nah, we get on that motherfucking talking shit. Yeah. You got motherfucking <laughs> hater, put your motherfucking fingers in it. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they be like, damn, yeah. I'm coming like, man, they be bringing like, it, they be bringing it. Yep. So, yeah, it's, it, it definitely adds a different element. Yeah, so I have a question. So, we did a little research. You guys have a shared Instagram account. Fatio, how does a DJ or just anybody <laughs> shoot their shot? Oh, I wish y'all. You should have had the basketball hoop more. Like, you, sh- you know what I'm saying? Like, we should have had, 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 had a projector with yeah, DMs. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at DJ Two's DMs. <laughs> Child, they be like. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to mom. get. I'm just trying to get some business. And we be like, yeah, hit the business number. It'll come to both of us. Oh well, I just you know I'm just trying to see you know about one of y'all. <laughs> I mean any of if one of y'all single, I'm like you don't even know which one. Like you just then, dude, it was like I don't want to split y'all up. We can do it together. And I'm like oh, no, nah, gee, we we good, man. Y'all probably get a lot of those. We do, oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Wow. We do. It, it, 
guys are crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. are the twins available though? Yeah. If Ooh. somebody did want to shoot that shot, hey. it's the clip. It's the clip. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm gonna say this. I'm available, but I'm really not. I'm choosing we not to, to the be. Game. Yeah, we're we're to the game. Like, right. Right. Yes. 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 So. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, what is your favorite genre? And it, 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 it's going to be probably different from, or is it going to be the same? It might be different. It might be different. All right, okay. So what is your favorite music to play in the club? Blue Toots. Oh, no, you go ahead. All right, so Big Toots' favorite genre. Damn. I love, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I love old school. Yeah. Like, like 80s old school or like 90s two, old school? Like 2000s, okay. Okay. late 90s. Like, I love this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you're going to catch me in the booth, like, just drunk Bye. as hell yeah. soon as this shit come on. But yeah. I don't know, Little Toots would be y'all. R&B. Come on, come on, come on. R&B guys out there. So it makes sense. It makes sense. Shout out to the R&B guys out there. Yeah, like, folks be so turned on. I'm like, let's just... You know, come and talk to me. Right, right, right. right. Come and talk, talk to me. Song, you know, like. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going to hop into this next segment. It's called Giving DJs Their Flowers. Yeah. It's one of the segments. Usually segment DJs like to give more than three, but we just asked y'all give us three DJs that have motivated you to either want to become a DJ or just guided you into, the, like, the right direction, always supported you. Let's hear those three DJs. Um, For, I'm going to do one, you do one, and then... Okay. For me, I'm going to say, you probably ain't going to even expect this one, but I'm going to say DJ Charisma because Ooh. I had researched her story. Oh, and yeah, yeah. She, yeah, yeah I love Charisma. She was like, folks was not fucking with her out there, so she had to do she a lot of stuff She the reason why we own. started throwing our own parties in Memphis. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, so. like, man, people won't put us, you know, in the late part. They always putting us in the early, early. part. Mm-hmm. People get there and they don't see us. Oh. Mm-hmm. And so she, we was watching her story, and she was like, I started throwing my own shit. Like, mm-hmm. And that's what made people start fucking with herself. Definitely DJ Charisma. Yeah. Um, we said his name earlier, DJ J Brown. J Brown. Love J Brown. Shout out to J Brown. Like, Big yeah, Boogie DJ. Yeah, Big Boogie DJ. Yes, yes. Yeah, he put us on our first club event. Trash. It's trash. Because <laughs> our computer ended up crashing that event. Oh, and we had to We're going to double back. We're going to double back. We're going to double back to that one. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, shout out to J Brown. Shout out to J Brown. And then, who else? As a collective. DJ Zelda, that's our best friend. DJ mm-hmm. Zelda, uh, yes. yeah, she out of Memphis too. That's our okay. best friend. Shout out to um, Memphis. We, 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 yeah, man, you heard me. We gotta take the show. Take the show to Memphis. <laughs> yep, we're gonna hook it up with Trap, and Trap gonna take us to Memphis. We gotta yeah, no, with the she, Memphis DJs. DJ Zelda, she supported us. She been there through thick and thin. Right. And an honorary, our brother. He, I was um, just gonna say an honorary. Our brother, um, yeah. he DJs too. What's his okay. DJ name? DJ Nick Nifty. DJ so, Nick Nifty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shout him out. He our backbone. We. Getting ready to argue mm-hmm. and we fighting with each other. He like the, the middleman. Mm-hmm. Like he like he was the one that to told us to yeah. do it. We were still playing tennis. We was like, yeah, we're gonna be next Vince and Serena. And he was like, y'all need the DJ. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's, you got some good people around you. Yeah. Man. So I got this question. I wanted to ask you guys. Got a lot of energy. How do you feel when people are not dancing? But they are still vibing, you know. It's you know, a vibe, but they're not dancing. It's Definitely a, in Atlanta. You know, now in Atlanta, it's the oh vibe. God. You know, sometimes they it's have a It's the hookahs, y'all. It's yeah. the hookahs. I do want to go, like, what's wrong with you? You need a drink? You need she a drink? She'll ask, she ask them, like, quick, y'all, what's wrong with what's y'all? Wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Y'all need a drink? Yeah. Like, yeah, you on the mic saying it? Oh, uh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't like, because the thing is, people, it's the too cool era. Like, folks be wanting to be cool as hell. Everybody want to be a star. Like, man, just come on. Like, it's, I'm telling y'all what it is. It's the hookahs mm-hmm. and it's the chairs. I don't too, like them it's hookahs, too, man. Uh, it's too many chairs. Well, we spoke about that a lot in season one. Like the hookah is just taking like, over. Like because it, it like, calms yeah, you yeah. down. Yeah. Like yeah. it make you be cool. Like and you know we kind of do that too. But some well, when you be, smoke weed, sometimes like my brain goes slow. Like I can't. Yeah, think, I can't think. I can't. Oh, she hate the when I do that. Calm me down though. <laughs> she hate when I do that smoking. As soon as I put the blunts in my mouth and we on um, DJ and she don't get to doing that stupid. Cause she get to moving <laughs> slow, like hitting the cue. I'm like, the fuck wrong with you, yeah. nigga? Like, damn. So we had a good question from Trap. So. With that being said, who does what? You know, like, who's on the mic while yeah. they're doing this? Who and has who's, the, like, strong points? Strong yeah. Points. So it's all intertwined. Now, me, I feel Don't like... Your uh, oh, oh, pop me. it, pop it. <laughs> I feel like I cut better than Big Tooth. That's just my opinion. She be. I feel like I cut better, but mm-hmm. Big Tooth talks better than me. Because right. okay. I get this lesson at the mouth. Like, it's like people make me... <laughs> Yeah. Just listen when I'm looking at somebody and I say the wrong lyric or the end of the lyric, she'd be like, Give me the mic. Like I do it. But yeah, she yeah. definitely she definitely talk better. If y'all look at some of our shows with Duke, 
her voice way stronger than mine. Like yeah. y'all hear my voice? Yeah, turn up. So like it's <laughs> cracking and then her voice just super strong and like a I warrior. I really turn into a dude or a, I don't yeah. know what what I turn it's into. It's super saying like yeah, <laughs> voice get extra. My voice already deep, but it get like deep, deep. It's like a, I guess it's a mix. So it's like you feel it. Like you, yeah. feel, you feel like a different. Right like, now I need to. Turn into some. I need to turn into my. I feel ego. like it's that, and then I feel like we always had to have like that kind of. I don't know. It ain't manly, but just trying to make sure aggressive. the dude aggressive because yeah. dudes the are RG trying. DJ for yeah. Him. yeah, yeah, that too. And just in Memphis, like you gotta oh, be yeah. aggressive. You gotta be like aggressive, DJ. Especially we girls too. So yeah. and Memphis Stay crowds hard. Yeah. Memphis crowds. Atlanta crowds hard too. Cause yeah. you you gotta go every which way. Like that's what we had to get to. Like yeah. get used to DJing down here. Like in Memphis. It's a certain pocket you have to stay Memphis in. Memphis music, night. that's all they listen to. It's nothing. They ain't really messing with Atlanta artists like that. It's all Memphis people. Like, wow. But you got to play the right. Yeah, you got to place a pocket you got to be in. But when we got down here, you, it was so, like, you could go anywhere. Like, I'm like, oh, y'all listen to Afro? Y'all listen to all this? Listen to all right. Y'all are on the new show called DJs of Atlanta. Yes, Tell us about that. Tell us about that experience. How's it going for you so far? So we started filming that. Right before the pandemic, and, right, um, right as we moved here, actually they yeah. reached out to us, and so um, they, and it's been oh my god, y'all, COVID that slowed up yeah. filming all of it, yeah. so they kind of missed like our progression. I mean, you know, we, yeah, a lot done went up. Yeah, yeah like uh, when we moved here, the we didn't price done went up. up. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know price nobody. Like, so like I'm looking on social, I'm seeing you guys at tennis courts and stuff like that. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we can get the round too, y'all. So yeah, what are like questions? Uh, what is one of y'all worst experience DJing? Who y'all? It's this actually with um oh, dude. We um probably gonna say the one I was gonna say so I'm gonna let you We was it. DJing a festival. It was the uh, big ma- big like big stage. It was Made in America Festival. Philly. And uh, yeah, yeah, Ooh, Philly, y'all. Philly crowd, man, man. Ooh, we, crowd. <laughs> it is. We get up there, we hook our computer up. Um, whatever was going on on the stage ended up frying our motherboard right then and there. This live though, like we got like five minutes. To set up before we because it was the USB they little USB they had on the S nine I guess it was stressed or something I don't, I don't know. know we pl- they plugged it in our computer whole just computer just shut down wow. like and so I'm trying to keep a poker face because the camera right here you got the crowd yeah, got the, the camera moving and yeah all that right like there. y'all on stage before him right <laughs> yeah, yeah like we on stage so when they see us they like yeah. Because they know, you know, when they see us, yeah. they finna see like dude. And so, face. girl, I'm having flesh. Man, I was trying to keep a poker face, but I'm finna cry. Like, yo, because we got, I just see the, I see it's like a red, you know, the clocks that got the yeah. red numbers yeah. and the numbers just going down. I'm like, Lord, please, this computer on, please, click, come on. Let it you come wasn't on, doing come on. nothing. Wasn't doing nothing. And so, we couldn't get it to come on. And they was like, well, we're going to have to push Duke's setback. Duke was like, A2's, y'all going to have to get out there and tell them what's going on. I'm like, oh, oh. Lord. When we get out there on that stage, we're like, hey, y'all, man, what's up? Da, 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 da. How they, y'all feeling? Y'all good? They're like, yeah. we want do dudes. And then we was like, <laughs> get the yeah. fuck off the stage. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's oh. what we want to know. We want to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's get to the gritty. What happened? happened? <laughs> we was like, yeah, we having some technical difficulties. They're like, boo, <laughs> y'all so trash. Trash. Y'all trash. I'm like, Lord. How many shows is in? This is like the fourth show y'all did with them? Not the first one, right? No, this was wild. Like, oh. the, the, actually, the first show we did with dude was Rolling Loud. But it was the virtual one okay. in Miami. That was during COVID. Yeah, COVID. But yeah. That was the virtual one. This one was this was last year, right? Yeah, this was last year though. So but. we actually end up doing that title show off of my phone. Yeah. If y'all look it up on YouTube, we DJing off our phone. Like we hitting the phone and the phone had to be across from where the stage is at. So we hitting the phone then running back to the booth. Yeah, yeah, turn on, turn on. We and we didn't have no mic actually. Like we just talking loud that's, so Duke could know crazy. what, what yeah. was mm-hmm. next. So yep. wow. I think one for me was um, y'all actually had him on the show, DJ Plug. All right. We had went to Aces. Oh, oh my God, y'all! Y'all DJ Aces? Yes. And so <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It's the DJs need love too. Show. Hey, Plug gonna be laughing. Hey, he gonna laugh it. It. <laughs> because Shout they had DJ us, Plug. Yes, they had us. QC had us going there. It's like we're gonna have y'all DJ Aces. You know, play Duke music in there. I'm like, okay, cool. No and problem. you know, they want to see if we can turn up. They're yeah, like, Ooh, we want to yeah, see yeah. if y'all can turn it up. The hype about right. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, cool, no problem. So, we like play to us anywhere. We gonna yeah, turn anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, we yeah. yeah gonna turn up. And so they put us in Aces, the strip club. And I'm like, okay, we hooking up. 
We there before Duke now. We there. And then we had just spent like three, four hundred dollars on one strip of like. I'm like, let me get in this damn booth. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? How we they done, they all done, money. They done bamboozled me. I'm here working. DJ's need like. too, man. <laughs> so we get in the booth. We hook up. Same shit that happened at Title. What's happening here? It nah. didn't. It didn't want to connect. No, so it was, it was, it was, it was a wire thing. No, it was, this was this was this was before title. Yeah, this was before title. This is what happened oh. with this. So I didn't know that if you set your MacBook on top of another MacBook, your MacBook is not gonna come on. It's gonna keep shutting down. Oh. It's like a magnetic. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a magnetic yeah. type of thing. So we we set our MacBook on plug. And a lot of DJs do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. we set our MacBooks just the bare bare bottom on his, and so we kept trying to cut it on. It just kept shutting off. Kept shutting off. And I went, he had walked off. You know when you trying to set something up and then one just walk off. He just walk off. Like, what? Like, what? Yeah, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. So he walked off and we was like, plug. We was like, come here. We was like, right, I think we was drunk too, so they didn't help it. Like, it was like, we don't know what. He probably like, what the fuck is with them? Like, but we was yeah. like, we don't know what's going on with our computer. And then he looked at us and he, he pointed at the computer. He, y'all got y'all computer on mine. He. Y'all don't know if you set your computer on top of another one it's gonna cut off. I was yeah, like, no. I, <laughs> I took that computer off and I cut it back on and instantly came back yeah. up. I'm like, oh my oh god, god. Please, thank you. I just thought about this based off what you guys were saying. DJ in Memphis, beefs. How tough is that? Ooh. Ooh, RP my nigga Dolph, man. Yeah, yeah. RP Dolph. Yeah. I got a big R. picture R. of Dolph in our studio, y'all. Like yeah, us together. Nah, them beefs be something serious. Like we done had some DJs, like especially when that whole Dolphin Gotti thing was going so on. So you had to be strategically when you Oh yeah, yeah like yeah. you can't play back then. It's not like that now. Yeah. But back then, like you ain't you better make sure who in that room yeah. before you run this you know some DJ Dolph etiquette. Or, is, yeah, yeah, like mm-hmm. or you know before you run some yeah. CMG stuff. You done like, seen some it DJs come through to get snacked. Like, yeah. Music for us. Mm-hmm. Like we be in our little groove. I'd have mm-hmm. had some, you know, they be like, Hey, we in here. And I'm like, yeah, they be like CMG in here, we don't want none of that. Or they be like paper out in here, we don't want none of that. Like oh god. That's good. That's good stuff for DJ. They so, need to know stuff like that. So mm-hmm. speaking of Duke Deuce, how did y'all get connected with him? That's, that's the that homie, process. man. Yeah. Shout out to Duke. Yep. Duke Energy. Duke. So with Duke, we I don't know if y'all know like Memphis Jukin. Like, do y'all see people yeah. do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I got crates, man. Yeah. 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 So we was heavy in the Jukin like music scene. We was doing a lot of Jukin parties in Memphis. Shout out to G Nerd. Yeah, yeah G Nerd, all them folks. So um. Duke, I think he was performing at one, wasn't it? Yep. And he came up, and we didn't know who he was at the time. Mm-hmm. But he gave us his music, and we was like, okay. And then he performed, I was like, okay. And so we just started playing his music wherever we was at. So he already had records out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. This was whole lot of. Okay. So he okay. already okay. had a yeah. whole lot of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Memphis Massacre was already out. And so um, we planned it. And so he had already had a DJ at the time. And so he Shout was out like, to that DJ. Yeah, that, he, yeah. So he already had DJ. So, but he was like, "Yeah, I want, um, I want y'all to be my DJs." And we was like, "We were cool with the DJ." So we was like, like, "We cool." With I need the community to know. It normally, does not happen like that. You know what I <laughs> yeah. mean? And mm-hmm. yeah, that, that's that's dope. Yeah, was Shout he out to for that. Was he mad? He's yeah. probably still. Probably now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably yeah. still. He ain't missing. <laughs> you guys ain't missing. But now. We actually um turned Duke down that time. Mm-hmm. Oh. We told yeah, we told Duke we was like, nah man, talk like, to your DJ. Talk like, to your DJ, like let them know what you want them to do. Bro. Cause we were doing parties with bruh. Yeah, okay. he was like, he our homie, like yeah, right y'all, there. yeah, yeah. Right. That was, I, you know, I threw the alley oop to him. Like, no, nah, y'all stay together. But they ended up falling out. And so Duke ended up moving to Atlanta mm-hmm. around the same time we did. Mm-hmm. And so um when he moved here, we ended up DJing and we hang out or whatever. We yeah, pull up, yeah, yeah. like we was just all, we was all cool. You got something you got a really good relationship, right, like, yeah. And so he asked us to do his birthday party, mm. and so we was like, "Damn, where is DJ at?" Yeah. And so then he was like, "Man, what's on the set? Ain't gotta be said. I ain't gonna ask y'all again." Yeah. Yeah. And so we was like, "All right, bet we we'll be a DJ." And so that's it's yeah, been. It kind of worked out. It's yeah. Yeah. It worked out though. I was like, "Yeah, yeah no, nah, we ain't gonna say yeah, no. Can't again. say no twice." Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But okay, so let's get into this next segment, which is called "Would You Rather." It's called "Would You Rather." So, so I'm about I'm go- to set my timer for 20 seconds. Mm-hmm. Ooh, y'all man, I was about to give y'all. A, y'all just got to answer it off the top of your head, okay? Ready, set, go. Atlanta versus Memphis. 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 Me, nigga. Oh shit. <laughs> vinyls, versus, vinyls versus CDJs. Vinyl. Vinyl. Headphones, no headphones. Headphones, no headphones. Twitter answers. Host, no host. Oh, no, 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 host, no, host, this is no funny. Host. Residency for two years or touring for two years? Damn, Damn two yeah, years. touring. DJing a festival or stadium? Festival. Stadium. 
This is funny, bro. <laughs> car or truck? Car. Truck. Last one. Cash or crypto? I don't know. She about crypto cash. <laughs> <laughs> I throw that one in there. I throw that one in there. All right, so before we end it out, why do DJs need love? I ain't look because the DJ. DJ. What what uh what's his name? What my Lauren say on house party? What what the nigga say on house party? Because of the DJ, <laughs> the DJ. Yes, man. yes. Like the DJ is it? If you don't have no DJ, where the party? Like you can have a building. You ain't got no DJ, like you, you ain't got, got no DJ who can house party. Did y'all see how they treated him in house party? Yeah, scratch those speakers up. Like what? I'm like, Lord, y'all scratch my speakers up. I'm going home. Uh-huh. Y'all have it. Have fun now. <laughs> DJs need love, man. We need all the love, or we ain't gonna play music. You hear me? Uh-huh. Where can we find DJ Toots on social media? Yep. You can find DJ Toots everywhere at DJ Toots 901. It's DJ T O O T Z 901. Everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that, and all y'all can find us in the city near y'all. We got the yeah. Duke Deuce Crunch Star Tour coming up. Y'all make sure y'all. What else happening? Hey, can y'all do? Can y'all do the head now one time? <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time. Ooh, go ahead. Who you got it? You got a strong voice, <laughs> nigga. You gotta do the head <laughs> now. Say what the? <laughs> all right, one, two, three. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, yeah, you hear me? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, thank you. Thank that you. was dope.